Dad, do you ever or seen Bigfoot before? Um, yeah, I thought I saw a Bigfoot once. <laughs> we were uh, camping by Lake City. Uh, it was me, um, my good buddy Eric, his little brother Austin, um, and then, you know, my friend Matt. We were all camping together. Uh, we were at a little primitive campground, and we were just sitting by the campfire, telling some stories about some of the, the weird stuff we've seen out in the woods. And, of course, we were drinking some adult beverages at the time. We are getting a little tipsy there. So we're going on through the night, and we kept on hearing this noise coming from us. Behind us, there was this, like, meadow, and it was, it was getting dark. And this grass in this meadow was probably about six, seven feet high. And there were some like trees scattered out, but it was so dark you couldn't really see in the meadow. And we were trying to figure out what was this noise coming from mm. behind us. We're, we all stood up from our chairs from the campfire and we turned back towards this meadow. We seen these two sets of eyes just moving around. Now this grass, we saw it during the daytime. This grass was probably about six foot, seven foot tall. And these eyes were just sitting over the grass line in this meadow, but it was really dark. You could only make out the eyes. Maybe it's a wolf. Uh, no, I mean, I don't. wolves don't get that tall. Mm. We um, were looking, we're trying to figure out what it was. We're like, well, maybe it's a, a bear standing on its hind legs or a pair of bears. But, like, we still couldn't make out anything. And because we were telling all these, like, weird stories about things that we ran into in the woods were kind of creeped out. We were getting a little nervous and we all had our guns with us because we were all doing small game hunting and stuff like Y'all that. Y'all had guns? Yeah, we had we had uh, guns. We all, we all had our shotguns with us because we were small game hunting. And we, <laughs> we started taking our guns out and loading up our guns. Um, we're basically just creeping each other out trying to figure out what what these little these uh, beady eyes were doing, just kind of staring at us. Couldn't really see anything. You know, it popped in my brain, hey, hey, we've been drinking adult beverages for the last couple hours. We're creeping each other out. Maybe like, it is a wolf. You just see it different. Uh, it, well, I'm getting there. So we, um, I, f finally I come to the realization maybe it's not a good idea for us to be um, handling these shotguns, being creeped out, having alcohol in our system at the same time. So I, I asked everybody in the group, hey, I want you guys put your guns down or whatever. Let's unload or whatever. So I made sure everybody unloaded their their guns. Uh, I unloaded mine. Um, and we just kind of watched the beady eyes. And eventually they, they disappeared. Do you see like a movement? And like, where you see like the legs move out? No, because all we could see was the eyes mm -hmm. sitting at the very top mm -hmm. of the grass line because it was so dark. I wish it was daytime so you can make out the creature. Well, well, I went back there to investigate the next morning. I, or I got to the edge of the, um, the meadow where all this tall grass was growing. And guess what I found? What? Back there in the meadow, somebody dragged a picnic table from over from the campground back into this meadow so you couldn't see the picnic table because it was lower than the grass and sitting on top of this picnic table was a bunch of raccoon poop <laughs> and a bunch of like garbage that they must have been pulling from the campsites we put two and two together and just we figured that raccoons were basically raiding campsites in the middle of the night and taking the food from the campsites, taking them to the picnic table and eating them on the picnic table. And when they were standing up on the picnic table, it was just high enough to be above the tree line. So what we were actually seeing was raccoon eyes. But because they were so high off the ground, we automatically assumed that it was some kind of creature that was like <laughs> six foot, seven foot tall. So, but that, that's a good reason why you, you never, ever handle guns when you're drunk. Because yeah. that could have totally went the wrong way. Somebody could have had an accident. 
But, yep, that that was the one time I, I thought I might have saw Bigfoot. Oh. I so. Give, I give you for seeing a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10? Mm -hmm. Would you give me a 10 out of 10? For your story.